One of the greats of American comedy, Jerry Lewis, has died at his home in Las Vegas, aged 91. Lewis rose to fame in the 1950s after teaming up with Dean Martin. He went on to star in his own series of farcical comedies. Ann Barker reports. Here, enjoy yourself. He was the manic, rubber-faced showman who goofed his way to fame. His slapstick routine brought laughter around the world. Wouldn't it be marvellous if the elastic face that we have, that can do so much? Wouldn't it be marvellous if our bodies were elastic so that we could do equally as much with them in animation? Born Joey Levitch in 1926 to a family of entertainers, Jerry Lewis began his career at the age of five in vaudeville. At 20, he teamed up with Dean Martin, a decade-long partnership that ended with a bitter split. I'm not going to do it! I'm not going to... He went on to star in his own comedies such as The Bell Boy and The Nutty Professor and was once the highest paid actor in Hollywood. His career spanned the history of showbiz in the 20th century, though he upset many with comments against gays and women comics. I cannot sit and watch a lady diminish her qualities to the lowest common denominator. The French loved him so much they gave him the Legion of Honour. In 2014 he was made an honorary member of the Order of Australia, not for comedy but raising funds for muscular dystrophy. Do I stand? You do. Because it's heavy, I'll fall down. It, well, this, that is entirely possible. Jerry Lewis struggled with his own illness, including chronic back pain and a lung condition, but was determined to live a long life. I'm eating well, I'm going to sleep early, I'm doing all the stuff that's necessary to make 101. In the end, he died of natural causes with his family by his side. The tributes are flowing. Jim Carrey tweeted, that fool was no dummy. And from William Shatner, the world is a lot less funnier today.